With most modern cameras today, like for instance the Canon EOS R5, most of them now shoot on two different types of card formats. You've got traditional SD cards, which most cameras have, but now you've got a newer card format called CF Express. Now the problem I've got with these cards is they are horrendously expensive and far more expensive than traditional SD cards. So are there any big benefits to using these new card formats over traditional SD? Well, in today's video, I'll hopefully clear it up by giving you three reasons why I shoot on CF Express Type B cards over SD cards when it comes to my professional photography. And I'm gonna start right now. Now, the first reason is all to do with the camera's capabilities. Now, some cameras, like for instance, the Canon R5 or even the brand new Nikon Z8 can shoot in 8K resolution. Now, that's amazing, but the main problem is you're not gonna be able to shoot in those high resolutions if you're using traditional SD. Now, this isn't Canon unlocking it behind some kind of invisible paywall. It's simply to do with the read-write speed of the card. For instance, 8K resolution at 30 frames per second is about a gigabyte per second transfer speed. So you're gonna need a card that can transfer one gigabyte per second and SD cards just are not fast enough. Even the fastest V90 SD cards that you can get will shoot around 300 to 400 megabytes per second. So nowhere near fast enough. That's why you'll need to buy a CF Express Type B card to basically unlock all of the amazing capabilities of your camera. So the next time you're shooting at really high resolution or you're shooting very fast, so let's say you're shooting in photo, you know, the Canon R5's 45 megapixels. If you wanna shoot 20 frames per second and you don't want a massive buffer, you want the fastest card possible and in this particular case, that is CF Express Type B. Now, the second reason is also to do with transfer speed, but not to do with the camera, to do with your computer. Now, as a wedding photographer, and if you are a wedding photographer, you'll also know this, that at the end of the night, I always like transferring all of my photos from all of the cards that I've taken onto my computer. Think of it like a, uh, an on-site backup, as it were. So once, once it's transferred, I know they're all safe on my computer and they're in two separate locations. So if I lose my SD cards, or for instance, if I lose my computer, I know I've got that wedding saved and that's really important to me. But obviously, if I'm shooting on lots of cards and I use SD cards, that's gonna take ages to transfer. And the last thing you wanna do after working a 12-hour wedding is spend another two hours just transferring all of those photos. So I use a CF Express Type B card with a CF Express Type B card reader, and that will transfer far quicker. And I just did a quick experiment to show you guys how much faster it is. So an SD card transferring 64 gigabytes took 24 minutes to transfer from the card to the computer and then I tried it with my CF Express Type B card with the reader and it transferred it in about five minutes. So about five times, six times quicker almost than a traditional SD. So yeah, way faster. So if you're like me and you like having an on-site backup as soon as you shoot a wedding or any important event, I always use CF Express Type B because it's got a faster transfer rate. And my third and last reason is all to do with reliability. Now, with SD cards, I find the reliability as a professional photographer shooting almost every single day, about a year seems to be their reliability threshold. Anything more than that, and I've had use, old, used older SD cards, they can become corrupted or they can have a funny transfer when you plug it in, it, the, com the computer doesn't recognize it, and I've had a few problems. So, to, re to kind of fix that problem, every year I basically replace my SD cards with some brand new ones. But when it comes to CF Express Type B cards, I find them to be a little bit more reliable. Now I've had CF Express Type B for around three years and I've actually never replaced a CF Express Type B card so far, which makes them, in my opinion, maybe three times more reliable. And again, don't really know the facts and figures to back this up, but personally, I actually think SD cards are less reliable than CF Express Type B cards. And making that meaning it's a little bit more, I guess you could say, better value for money over time if you don't need to replace them as often and they're about 50% more expensive they might save you money in the long run but again it depends on how much you use them and what you use them for I use them just as much as SD cards and I found my SD cards become more unreliable over time where the CF Express type e cards don't seem to be but I guess it's how you look after them and everything like that so but in my personal opinion I personally think CF Express type e cards are more reliable and I've traveled all across the world recently been to the US and brought all of them I've gone through XMA machines I've dropped them I've you know they've been spilt sometimes a bit with water or whatever at a wedding so yeah 
In my opinion, I'm always going to be shooting on CF Express Type B simply because I personally think they're more reliable. Brilliant, and there we go guys. So there are my three reasons why I personally shoot on CF Express Type B. I love the read write speed, and it also unlocks capabilities in my camera, which I don't actually really use, but it is always nice to have just in case, as well as the reliability aspect. I actually think they're more reliable, and from my own personal experiments, I have found that. But again, write it down in the comments below what you think. Do you personally shoot on just SD, or have you transferred over now to CF Express Type B? I'd be really interested to hear your feedback, and if you thought I've missed anything or you want anything to add, make sure to write it down in the comments below. I've been James for Photo Fever, and I'll catch you guys next time.